Yeah, that's why it's a little dark. It's evening. What time is it? It's like four. Yeah. Ish. Mm -hmm. Ish. But this is kind of what we do. We do our best work. Yeah. In the evening time. Yes. So. Because we kind of take care of business all day long, and we try to do it when it's closer to one of the guys coming home, so that doggy's not by himself all the time. Even though we're seeing the benefits of him being by himself, because he cries and yelps less when we do leave him. Mm -hmm. He kind of just is resigned to the fact to go in in his little crate for his safety, and then he knows we're coming back. Yep. So it's like he's around four, so Adam normally gets home. What's this car doing? Like around, what's home for Adam or Spencer? Um, uh, Adam, I believe. Okay. Yeah, I think Adam gets home first. So, so Adam will be home, and uh, then Spencer will come home, and then we'll come home eventually. <laughs> So we haven't put out any content this weekend, or nor do we have any today, so we figured um, we'll take you along on our errand run. Yeah, I don't know how long this vlog is going to be. Like, we're mm -hmm. going to Walmart, and we're going to Target, which yes. is it's a little weird to kind of like walk with like the camera all up and just talking and vlogging, but mm -hmm. we're going to do the best we can. Mm -hmm. It's like nighttime, as you can see, so like people are coming home from work, so it is just like there's so many cars and stuff out here. I'm an organized kind of person. Who else is organized like that? Where as it gets closer to the holidays, it's almost like like when you're pregnant, like you start that nesting kind of thing. So I start kind of allotting days to start planning. So this week is like the days to get the things like I need um, for the dinner. Things that you don't have to necessarily cook, but maybe the spices I might need. Um, what else we might need? What do we do? That, that I can get like I don't. Do you get like seed the seasoning? That's what's in the spices. Yeah, spices. Okay. Seasonings. Um, Sometimes with the, the drinks, maybe. Yeah, but that's kind of early. Yeah, it depends on when the sales are. I was at Target the other night. That's why we're doing Target and Walmart because you still have to go to Target. Yeah. And I was there, and those prices so for like when you have to do a Thanksgiving dinner. Um, I used to be impressed by Target's prices, but now as I always uh, Target, as I always say, Target knows it's worth mm -hmm. and so those prices their clothing parts i love yeah. some of their clothes but yeah. 30 dollars for a little button-up dress mm -hmm. like come on target mm -hmm. eh. so something like this i was just at the time i was just saying for instance chicken broth all right the swans is chicken broth in the bigger size i think it comes in like the little kind of like um rectangular size and then it comes in kind of like a bigger square size and the bigger square size is normally like maybe 261 I can get it on a good day in the grocery store perhaps and I was seeing like 329 and I was just like oh I don't care and I was like throwing things in the car and before I actually pull up to the register I'm like you know what let me stop let me not stop, start obsessing this soon it's only Saturday I said I still have all next week which is now where we're at now today we're Monday and then all next week because it's not until the 28th Thursday so we're Thursday. only at what the this 18th, 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 okay, 18th, 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 10 days. Yeah. All right, so let me not obsess too much, but this is like how I get mentally, um, because I'm very organized. I'm laid back in some ways, and in other ways, I just like things to go off like clockwork, and to me, it's in my power to do that, especially as I get older, and I try to accommodate my illness. I never know a good day or a bad day, and I was like wiggle room, as I always say, mm. so I figured doing this today just getting a few little things it makes me feel comfortable I like to see things like set aside like this is like the Thanksgiving section that mm -hmm. makes me happy in certain instances instances I'm like a last minute kind of person I do my best work last minute under stress stress and pressure yeah, but you're, you're pretty good you're like a good daughter because you don't really go up against like you respect how I am and how I've gotten to be this age and do what I do and I know one day you will have your own home and I know I never like to be told what to do as a young adult and when my mom, not that she did, but would come over, like she, my mom was not like a, a hands-on kitchen kind of person, so she was fine to like just sit back and let me do whatever. But um, I would never go to your house knowing that I am a kitchen person, knowing that I am an organizer and a planner. Like, like I would I would say to myself, my ship has sailed and now it's your thing. And I would sit back with pride and watch how you've done the things, because I know I'll see familiarity, the things that you picked up from me, the things that you've incorporated yourself into different holidays and traditions. Mm -hmm. So I, I can already say, definitively that I'm not going to be um, a thing like out the way I can do it better like I am not doing that I didn't want it done to me it wasn't done to me except when I had babies and you know you kind of have to respect grandmothers they want to have their say in the matter with babies but I was a staunch breastfeeder and I didn't want to be told not one thing about that and my mom and Jay's mother had 
whole different opinion about that. They really wanted, because I know they want you to hold the baby, but I was having none of that. I did not want what they call that nipple confusion and all that. I was having none of that. So, um, so that was kind of like a little touch and go kind of, um, a little thing, but nope. So I would not definitely interfere in any way you want to do things because no, no. at the end of the day, no, girl, because I'm like, at the end of the day, you know, they grow up to be miserable, ungrateful kids anyway. <laughs> <laughs> All this boring down apple juice and you know not doing this and not doing that. Girl, I should just give you straight apple juice <laughs> right from the jar. <laughs> right from the bottle. But um, you know, you live and learn. Yeah. So, so this is different. Have we ever like vlogged at night? Guys, I, I hope this isn't weird. You can hear us. But it, yeah, I, I think it's cool because it's like the light will be different. <laughs> Just listen, friend, you listening ears. Alright, you'll definitely be yeah. able to see us once we get into like Target and Walmart. I think right. we're going to to Walmart first. I think that it's exceptionally dark, right? It um, is, because the clocks got turned back, yeah, right, but or forward, I think or also or... because of the weather, it's rainy. So yeah. I don't know if it would be this dark, though I believe probably... No, it is, because like around 5 o'clock, I always think it's like 9.30 at night. That's true. And I'm just like, wow, it's so, only 9 o'clock. Yeah, no, it's definitely, definitely... Okay, there are like so many cars out well, here. Well, that's right because now. it's really, this is rush hour People time. Act in the fool. So the highways that we're getting on, people are getting off, getting on the same way. So these are these highways during rush hour that yeah. people are utilizing. But anyway, guys, so today what I did in my hair, and I'm definitely kind of like flocking. If you can see, I don't know if you can. <laughs> I don't know, you'll see better in the store. You'll just remember what I said. Because I'm definitely clocking the, the journey now. I've even taken it so far back as, kind of like when I first came on the channel, how short my hair was, because I swear, it is just really, it's like that um, blonde is just definitely just shedding out. So, um, no more haircuts for me. I'm just going to see the journey throughout the year. 2020 will be the, the year of growth to see again, you know, what I can get and what I can achieve. But what I have today is um, Diva. Like, I just do the most randomest things. So I think a couple of weeks ago I did We Dad. So today I decided to do We Dad. I did Decadence and I went in with the original One Condition. And I don't know what we were thinking of back then, or maybe we didn't even know, but that stuff simply does not have any slip to me. Does that slip to you? The, de the Diva Decadence? None of it. None of it. Like, none of it had any slip. The Decadence didn't have a drop of slip. The One Pool didn't have Why slip. Why do I feel like products go in and out? Because you guys know we just did that Curlsmith line, right? And we were talking about the primer. Yeah. And I used it the other day, and to me it had no slip. Really? But then I tried it again, and it had an amazing slip. So I don't know if it depends on the base of what's on your hair, what exactly you're rinsing out of your hair, whether what has slip and what doesn't have slip. So you had all that castor oil. I did. Maybe that changed the slip. I forget what I had on my hair, but like some products, I'm like, oh, it's amazing slip. I'll love it for slip and then I'll go to use it. No slip. It's happened to me with like all my favorite conditioners, all my favorite co-washes, my Aussie, my, my, you know, my as I am, like all my favorite products at one point or another have not had slip for me, even though I know they're, they have slip they're like a slippery product mm -hmm. i don't i don't know maybe it has to do with the base because i think maybe diva i don't think is like known for its slip but i right. would say it doesn't have but any slip at all everything is like the co-wash consistency so i didn't use anything like the light pool which is my favorite because well we the decadence isn't my favorite i like okay. the straight original the original yeah. no poo um, the, yeah the original no poo and the uh the, ori the original one conditioner i'm not a fan of decadence well it's really. kind it's of trying to do like salons do where they kind of cater to your hair needs so i felt like my hair has the tendency to be dry because of the weather the winter you know the harsh conditions so i figured okay let me do let me co-wash with the decadence and i said and then i will go with because i don't want heavy heavy products because i like my hair to be big and blowy i said so let me go in as with the one um condition the original one condition instead of the decadence and then i did the diva stretch stretch curl Stretch cream? Stretch cream, yeah. Stretch and, curl. And I, and I didn't have my glasses nearby, or you know, they get kind of foggy. So I didn't know what the instructions were, but I believe that you put it in and you don't scrunch back up or anything. So that's what I did. And not that I'm pulling out any particular sort of length as I'm putting it in, or even like, um, what am I doing? The, the praying hands and all that, you know, the length just simply is not there. So um, I felt like I lost quite a bit today but I'm okay with that because I think it's the highlights coming out and they coming out one way or another and I'm glad and I swear to goodness I will not put in not that extreme ever again I mean I like the look and 
if I only just like, you know, I always do things in excess. So if only I knew just know when to hold and when to fold, and I never do. We never do. But I bet you I'm gonna learn this time. We're gonna so learn today. I don't want my hair to just be one bland color straight across, but you always see kind of like glimpses of highlights, and especially to the amount of highlights that I had in my hair. Mm -hmm. Uh, I have never seen, when I go back and look at the pictures and the videos, I have never seen my hair color that light. So I know there will be glimpses, and I bet you I'll be it happy with that. It wasn't even ashy this time. And it never really was ashy. So it was lighter, mm -hmm. but it was just not, it was brassy. Mm -hmm. it was just and not, then it was as it goes on, and I was reading all kinds of things this weekend, just really trying to get to the bottom of this problem. And they say, I was reading things like um, they will last maybe six weeks well that was back in july that was around my birthday so now that was july so we have august september october november so that's four months not six weeks that's four months so they definitely should be out or definitely kind of like working their way down so that's what i'm kind of aiming for is with the hair grow out because that's the only way i'm going to get rid of them so as it grows out the root this part will be dark and i'll be looking like rick james at this point you know where your tips were have the highlights and i'll be okay with that because i know that's growth mm -hmm. You know, so I think that's the way I'm going to do it. Almost kind of like transitioning out that damage. Okay. Because damage comes in all forms. It can come with straightening, mm -hmm. heat straightening. It can come with um, chemicals. Chemicals, and this would be like chemicals. So I'm trying to transition these chemicals out now. But I definitely don't want to do a big chop because, um, you know, I'm just not doing all that because I know better now, and I know that I don't have to be that drastic. Mm -hmm. That's cereal. It's not that cereal. It'll come out one way or another. But at least I'm like kind of like laid back as it's coming out because I felt like I was, I had a good clump today, mm -hmm. and I'm like, okay, you know, more highlights coming out. Yeah. Um, what I did in my hair, which you'll be able to see once like we actually get under some light, is um, I did another like little braid out, two braids on each side. But I used the TGIN, the is it the Miracle RX Miracle Moisture RX that line, the the white line. Um, they're curl food and I forget who suggested it but somebody was like you should try the curl food for a braid yes. out and I've been loving that but I actually I left the braids in for two days so I did it one night left it in all that next day and I believe I left it in the next day and then okay. now yesterday I took them out and um, the the it was the pattern like it wasn't as much volume because the pattern was like stuck now that was like a true braid out the pattern wasn't going uh anywhere okay and so now um today i like tied it up last night and then i um took it down again today and again like the pattern was still there because i can't really get more than one day from the braid outs that i typically do yeah i have to like braid it up again every night but like i didn't think i was going to be doing anything really today so i thought i was actually going to wash my hair so i just put my hair in a bun last night on the top of my head and um but then when i took the bun out today oh wow when you gasped when I took the bun out today, like the braid out was still there and the waves were still intact, yeah, and I was like, definitely. Ooh, it feels good. I was like, wow. Nice. So maybe if I leave the braids in longer, like I can get more days out of the braid out, so I don't okay. have to like do it. Yeah. You know, braid it up every single day. But I'm impressed. Yeah. No, like on days like this, which we call like our days off, this is when I kind of do maintenance. So today I have no makeup on because it's just days where I give my face a break. Not that I go heavy with makeup all the time anyway but when we were filming and maybe we used to film a little bit more maybe six months ago so I do enjoy giving my face that break mm -hmm. and especially since we just had that Sephora VIB sale and I got some skincare products now so I enjoy doing that and for the winter just protecting my skin with moisturizer and yeah. all of that. My skin has been on 100% this month like I'm just breaking out kind of like everywhere so I don't have good months that. and bad months yeah. I don't know what's summer and the, hu and the humidity and the heat and all of that will cause your face to break out more because of um you know the dirt the heat you know um the glistening I'm sweating hashtag glistening um uh -huh. you would think that you would draw more breakout time but it, it really i noticed that sometimes the extreme cold sometimes um i used to break out as well yeah so um guys you know what we want to do I, i'm probably gonna make, make a post about it but you could leave it in the comments too we've gotten a few comments like this as far as like video content goes but actually i think what's wisdom is better because like she named it she called it with a wisdom wednesdays yeah but um you guys have mentioned before like you know how we love to talk on this channel like we do it on friday night lives we kind of just talk about anything life left and life life lessons that kind of thing um but um we thought you guys could like send in topics and it could be 
anything and like we would just have like a video maybe we would put it out on Wednesdays call it wisdom Wednesdays and we would just kind of like address topics it could be anything it could be mothering relationships um what else gal Girls, so I think they say yeah, yeah, like any topic within reason of course yeah um <laughs> in in dif the different age different uh, perspectives and it's not necessarily personal about us about like my personal life and what I feel about that um, in my own life but in general like maybe perhaps how I raised you or what are my thoughts on certain topics yeah. so um, but just, just yet yeah, so like this would be like separate from like hair questions so like yeah you know it's more like like other topics besides hair like yeah. like we do on Friday Night Lives but if there is like like a certain topic like you know how did you guys get you know a good mother-daughter relationships or like Taylor and how do you feel about like dating and you know 2019 being your age or Lorian like dating whatever like I mean I don't yeah. know like just topics about like life and yeah. things and career you know school college um yeah, like wisdom points wisdom points and yeah. how we kind of like navigate our lives the two different age differences our relationship how different topics that come up might impact us well I just like go sleep really quick hmm? uh, I said well I just go sleep really quick oh. and pull them, pull all these lights <laughs> and just how we navigate modern day um questions yeah so i was issues. like that's a cool idea yeah i thought it was pretty cool so if you guys are interested in something like that let us know and how would they give us the questions while all of a sudden starting raining and yeah so i said like you could either like drop them like in the comments on this video but i think i'm gonna like post a post yeah and um you guys could leave them there as well mm -hmm. but yeah let us know what you think about that idea yeah. and we'll see how that goes and grows and yeah. whatnot so just trying to have some new content going on there yeah so we are going to get some gas and we'll probably see you guys at walmart <laughs> okay Alrighty. all right to Bye. so we are at walmart first things first okay so this would be an example of something i would grab now because i have to cook it it's here and one year I found a hard time finding it, so now that I see it, I just show grab it. It's cornbread stuffing. Stuffing. And that is the stuffing recipe. Well, it is a stuffing recipe. <laughs> Picking out cheeses for the macaroni and cheese. Okay, so I do extra sharp and sharp. Braid them and mix them. I see extra sharp here. It's a pretty good price. Mm -hmm. $2.98. $2.98. Yeah. So, like, so prices of cheese here. Whereas, like, at yeah. the grocery store, they're like $3, $4. Though they might have sharp ear, um, it's white, so I like to kind of mix the colors. So this is why I get started early. This is why I do this kind of like a week or so in advance, so I can be particular. Gingerbread houses. I'm thinking Mad Curls live stream entertainment this year. I'm ready to make. Oh, this one's cute. A little candy on it. They have different kinds. It's cute. This is my favorite coffee, guys, and they have it in like instant form. Now, I've never seen this before. Shout out to Walmart. You just add like a spoonful to hot water and stir. It's lit. So, you guys can get a good look at my braid out. Let's see what your curls are doing. Okay, let's see. A little something light. A little something light. Get her. Light. What are we doing? You're getting trays. So now we get trays. I need like a whole lot of them. Well, we did um, our decluttering. I did declutter the whole house, so. You did, you got rid of these? Um, I believe I did. Girl. Oh, taco holders. Oh, that's cool. See, Walmart just gets you. Go to the taco holders. Right, um, oh, I know. <laughs> gotta, tacos, gotta, we're gonna need them. Taco, tacos sound really good. So this is the only thing about coming to these kind of stores. I can get distracted very quickly. Is tacos a good thing to bring for lunch? Tacos? How would you heat it up? Oh, that's a good question. Do you heat up the microwave? Maybe bring the ingredients and then make the taco at school, right? Tie this sort of, like the meat in the bowl. Yeah. Have a little shell on the side. Right. And then you have like a little bowl with your little cheese, lettuce. Cheese, lettuce, tomato. Right? Yeah, throw yeah. it on. Yeah, it could be done. Right, right, it could be done probably. It could be done. Okay. All right. Those are so cute. <laughs> and an ice cup. And ice cups. Girl, are you getting more than one ice cup? Girl, why not? Okay. They're 50 cents. I know. Aren't they cute? So we're getting some bowls. We got some bars, some PD dinners, a little bit for breakfast. Yeah, like Shrimp. this is just everyday living. Everyday living. Now we're getting ready to go down this aisle because I see some coffee mugs. I love coffee mugs. Coffee. It's so cute. Have a red coffee mug just to sit by the Christmas tree when we put it up. 
<laughs> Whenever we go to buy something, we have to give it like a scenario, know, like <laughs> as to why we're buying it. What are we do? Oh look! Oh my gosh! <gasps> Oh my gosh, that's so cute in the Olaf. Hot stuff. Those clips, I know every time you come out, you buy some new ones because they disappear. The pineapple. That's so cute. But I, I think I love Disney mugs. Like, that's my thing. Yeah, you definitely do. Definitely love Disney mugs. Cute. Okay, so now we've arrived at our specialty so no judgment zone guys some people have fine china i don't you know i always liked like clothes and makeup and all that so as silly as it sounds when i was younger i never kind of accumulated that kind of thing but i learned as i got older for holidays i would just kind of like get cute little paper plates once the meal is over the big garbage bag goes around and the work is over right seriously so, yeah. especially if you're like eating with a lot of people yeah paper and plates so, paper cups People have opinions on that, not bothered. <laughs> so now I'm looking for a cute design this year. All right, so this Hold is on. cute. Let's see what we have. More like classy? Yeah. I like stuff <laughs> like this. I'm more like cutesy. <laughs> so tell us which ones you guys like. Which, which ones do you think? The way that we eat, like we need a great big old plate. True. But see, the way I eat, I topple, pile everything together, not okay. bother. But mm -hmm. seriously, you guys, tell us your opinion on um, the china the whole paper plate thing yeah for thanksgiving do you have like do you use like real plates real yeah. cups real silverware all I that think kind it's of stuff brilliant or? what i do because i feel like i work all week long and on thanksgiving i don't want to be sitting in the kitchen doing all the dishes we're going to be doing them dishes right. so, over. yeah not me <laughs> we've compromised we're gonna get these plates with these napkins <laughs> yeah no these are so cute the aisle in a what Target Walmart now where they have like just the quick presents. So remember as like a little girl, like the makeup, <laughs> like, like a like teenager, everything. middle school. To give like a what anywhere from nine is a little young, right? Yeah. So like probably first year high school maybe. I don't know. Girls nowadays they I know they're already like yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Well, back in your day, it was cute. Seventh grade, eighth grade, maybe? Yeah. Eighth grade? It's true, they get to experiment with makeup. It's, you know, their parents want that. They don't really like the makeup. They don't have to be in their parents' makeup. Right, they get the, the kind of cheapy stuff. You used the, to love this the makeup. brushes. <laughs> Bronzer, blush. Great. All the palettes, the lipsticks. Oh my gosh. No, I seriously would have gotten so excited yeah, receiving no, really. something like this. Yeah. Mascara. And we still have that. Do we still have that eyeshadow one that has all the little teeny ones um, in it? The little round I think so. ones that have like every yeah. single four them to me. And we can't guarantee the pigment. Right? <laughs> we can't guarantee the pigment. We don't know what the pigment yeah, would you be. Keep swatching it, swatching it, swatching it. Oh, look at this one. This one's 53 piece. It's getting bigger and bigger. Wow. Girls love that kind of thing. And guys. I would say breath now they got And guys. Toys. Toys. Look at global cocktails. Okay, and then look at all of the I like this time of year. Oh, mixers. I was gonna say, I know this isn't just alcohol, but Connecticut doesn't do that, but some states do. They like sell they have like an aisle for alcohol, like C V S in like California, they have like an aisle. For alcohol. for alcohol, no, this it's mixers. Okay, because it wouldn't be. Look at right? hot sauces for people who like hot sauce. Like you. Girl. <laughs> well, look at the um. See, this time of year you can find the cutest things that you can't get any other time of the year. What's that? Look at this movie night. How cute! That is so All the cute. Things you can get in the movies. Like red vines, red vines, dots, dots the popcorn in the back. And it'll have goobers because I love goobers. What's That's in here? so cute. So this is this is exactly what you get at the movie theater. Coca Cola. What is that? Oh, like, oh wow, is that the old fashioned? Um, you can make root beer or floats. Is it a float? Root beer float. Wow, that is so cute. Adam and Spencer love root beer. How cute. That's really, really, really cute. What is it? Oh, pretzels. Oh, pretzels. I think the pretzels are stale. Look at the, to the bottom. <laughs> oh, those look like the old fashioned glass one. Assorted glass collection. You know, it's so cute. I'm raving over it. It's just so cute. It's fun this time of year, but 
this will just end up as dust collectors, right? <laughs> it might. But like people, when you see to buy stuff, when you're thinking of them, like um, at work, what are them things? Secret Santas and Secret Sisters exactly. and all those kinds of things. Look at Nestle. Quick. You can make. That's cute. That is so cute. That's cute. Which ones do you guys think are the cutest? Yeah. Which one do you like the I hot like, sauce? I like the movie one. The movie one is adorable. That's so cute. They have Ooh, and then there's chips up there. There's a margarita maker up there. Oh, cute. What's this? Oh, you can make ice cream cookie sandwiches? Oh, ice cream cute. sandwich maker. That is so... What is, so what, what is this part? I guess maybe you lay it in here and then push it out or something? Yeah. So cute. Adorable. Let us know which ones you guys think are the cutest. <laughs> Listen figured out they're worth after Halloween. <laughs> so now we're just shopping Christmas decorations early. Apparently you said Walmart has the best. They do. Um, you would think Target does, but no, I really don't think that they do. I think that don't, don't sleep, sleep on, on Walmart. I was getting ready to say don't sleep on Walmart. Honestly, we're the same mind. Do not <laughs> sleep on Walmart as far as the decorations go because look at this. Quality. See, I like cups like th See? These look at the plates. This is what I'm saying. She was looking at some busted mess. Look at the cute ones. Holly Jolly. And look at the snowmen. See, I like cute stuff. See, I don't know what bustedness you were looking at. These are so cute. Remember, I said I was the plaid ones that I told the other day. Yeah, oh my gosh, wait. See, there's more down here. Okay, okay. Now we cooking with grease. Now we talking. And like, look at Santa's belt. That's so cute. Paper straws, so cute. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> oh, so cute. I love stripes. Treat cups? Treat? Treat? Cute. For Dougie Nest? Oh, <laughs> okay, so that's treats. cute. See? Adorable. Very cute. All right, so let's decide. Adorable. Oh, we're deciding today. Um, let's just look. Okay, we're just looking. We're just looking. Most likely we'll end up getting. <laughs> Knowing you. Adorable. Main choice, four leaf clover. Can't two. Can't two for men. Curls unleashed. Think about gift sets for your friends who are natural. Your friends and fam. Cute. To hang on the tree for Spencer. U.S. Army. I think it says... This wheel defend. What does it say? This wheel. This wheel defend. Oh, cute. Okay. Very cool. What our card is looking like right now: some Christmas stuff, some Thanksgiving stuff, paper towels, gingerbread, you know, some chips, bra, mm -hmm. peanuts, <laughs> napkins, all the good stuff. Christmas decorations. Lorianne. <laughs> <laughs> So we're back in the car. We um we didn't have time to like show you guys us ringing stuff out because like Walmart is packed tonight yeah, for really some is. reason. Probably because like it's a week before Thanksgiving, everybody's shopping, mm -hmm. and so we did that. Of course, I had to run back to the car and get our bags. Oh, bag. <laughs> At least they were in the car yeah. this time. At least they're tell tell them what you've been saying like lately about this whole like bag I situation. Said this whole idea, this whole mayhem of people of us, you know, getting away from the plastic bags and people have to make the decision. Sometimes I'm at the register and. I'm just so sick of spending that 10 cents. I know it's nothing, but it's just the whole idea that the bags used to be free and now we're charged 10 cents. So if I have even a basket full of groceries and I know my bag's in the car and if Tay's not with me, I'm not going out to the car to get them. So I'm like, my bag's in the car. Mm. So they'll scan the stuff and I'll just put it in my Just put car. it back in the car. And it's crazy. So yeah. tonight there was a man at the door, you know, the Walmart greeters. And normally they would stop you when things were out of bags. But now, like we had a great big thing of... Uh, napkins on top they don't stop you anymore because they never know what is bought and what isn't i think penny penny wise pound foolish this whole idea of getting rid of plastic bags i think it's just mayhem and it can't be controlled and i saw a story in target the other night and i'll tell you guys on live because it's like very very involved but um it's just you never know who's stealing who isn't yeah especially those people bought. who like who know their bags are in the car, so they just, like, walk out with their groceries, like, yeah. just in the car like that. It's just, like... But, like, who be bold enough to just walk out with a thing of groceries? You don't yeah. know if you're going to be stopped or yeah. not, but... Because yeah. if I saw someone just walk out with, like, no bags or anything, I'm like, do you have a receipt for, like, all... That's when you start asking for receipts. If there's just no bags in sight yeah. and they just have a cart full of groceries. The story that I elaborate on live is what happened in Target, but I think 
they know how to time it to go late at night and by that point the people just want to get out so whatever the customer says goes they don't care it's not their store they don't care mm -hmm. and i'm seeing her with you know the shoes and sandals not sandals but boots and and just taking things out from underneath the car and some things were returned it was very messy you couldn't distinguish between returns and things that she wanted to replace a mess a mess okay so i'll tell it during story yeah. time no it really is a hot but it's mess, just crazy like, i don't know what this whole idea of this south of these plastic bags yeah well i guess saving the environment but it's certainly not adding any money to the store i think i would wonder what their um but, but like their shrink is That's what I was gonna say. you always say that yeah shrink. because when i worked at a grocery store like their main thing was like shrink meaning like the the, the things that get stolen or damaged or whatever like they said that takes away from employee um perks employee vacations bonuses that kind of stuff so like i wonder how much money they're losing because people are stealing yeah you know or like when they got rid of self-checkout they thought they were like saving money yeah. because people were stealing from self-checkout because you're you're being trusted to like check your own groceries out so right. you have a bag of 10 avocados but you say it's like a bag of three avocados like that kind of thing so they got yeah. in some places they got rid of self-checkout but like wow. i don't know I don't know this whole bag situation, but for some people, that you're probably like, well, they never had plastic bags in my state. I know some states like they've never, oh, they basically really? never had plastic bags, or or this is like, this they've been not had plastic bags, so yeah, but this but is least, brand new for Connecticut. But at least so. paper bags, like when I grew up, they had paper bags. Now they're even like nice. Some stores that bother to offer you paper bags, do they charge you for the paper bags? Yes, the paper nice bags aren't free either. Yeah, the nice ones with the handles. Yeah, no, yeah. paper bags aren't free. Coming into the yeah. store without a bag, they will charge you in one way, shape, or form. Hopefully, like, I think they plan on getting away with getting rid of all the plastic bags. So now, at a store like a, the Big Y, they offer really nice handled brown paper bags. Those mm -hmm. are nice. Does Big Y um, still do that? I think they do. Okay, yeah, they're probably but, definitely charging for bags. But like, it's hard period. to juggle the ones without the handles. Yeah. Yeah, but um, anyway, so yeah, yeah, so I just thought about that as we were leaving the store and some things were bagged and some things were not. And normally they would stop you to see your receipt to see the things that are not bagged. If it's on your receipt, they were just like, have a good night. We were like, deuces. Not bother. <laughs> right. But yeah, so we hope you guys enjoyed this little mini vlog. Like, we're putting it out. So you guys are obviously seeing you're watching it right now. This might be a little busted. But um, yeah, we're just prepping yeah. for Thanksgiving. Just, yeah. you know going out kind of late you want to see us cooking the dinner well, then we're gonna, let us know we're gonna vlog that yeah that kind of thing Somebody, us yeah somebody suggested prepping for food yeah. thanks mad curls thanksgiving series yeah so like we're starting exactly. to do so some of the prep now is, yeah this is part one yeah um shopping preparing for thanksgiving yeah and part two we still have to do another store but not tonight we're gonna go home yeah we're gonna go doggy, home so. and go see doggy mm -hmm. and um yeah we think that's it so thank you so much for coming along with us and we shall see you in our next vlog see you in our next vlog <laughs> all right bye, bye.